What's up guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to create two new endpoints, slash open and slash closed. Slash open will not require authentication to view, meaning you don't have to be logged in to be able to view this resource. Slash closed will require the user to log in. To achieve this, we're going to apply a different level of protection to each endpoint using the security filter chain. So in our security configuration file, we're going to define a new bean that returns a security filter chain. We're going to tell it, hey, the closed endpoint, this is going to be authenticated, meaning you have to be logged in to see this one. The open endpoint, we're going to say, hey, permit all, anyone can view this. We also need to define two more things. One is if the user tries to access the closed endpoint and is not logged in, we want to redirect them to the login page. Just make it easy for them. We also want to tell it, hey, use basic authentication because that's what we've been using so far. Okay, let's get started. Okay, making our way back over to our project. In our security folder, I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call it security controller. I'm going to annotate it with at rest controller and I'm just gonna define some simple mappings. So get mapping slash open, public string open, and we're going to return no login required. And I'll define one more. So get mapping slash closed, public string closed, and I'm going to return login is required. Next up, make your way back over to the security configuration file, and we're going to define a new bean. So at bean public, it's going to return a security filter chain. I'll call it security filter chain. And we need to pass in an HTTP security. And I'll name it HTTP security. So we're going to return HTTP security. And then we're going to use the builder pattern to build out our security filter chain. So dot authorize requests. Dot request matchers and we're going to pass in our first endpoint. So slash open. For open, we're gonna say dot permit all. Then request matchers slash closed, and we're going to say dot authenticated. Lastly, let's define the redirect. So we're gonna say and dot form login, and we're gonna say customizer dot with defaults. This will redirect it to the login form if they try to access closed and they're not logged in. Next we do dot build. And lastly, this can throw an exception, so add that to your method header. Okay, we are set up. Make your way over to the browser. And when I go to slash open, I'm not logged in, but I immediately see no login required. But when I hit slash closed, it redirects me to the login form. So let me enter my credentials, admin one, and now I can see login is required. Great. And I still have access to slash open. I'm going to go ahead and do slash logout. Now making our way over to Postman, we're going to do the same thing. So a get request at slash open. And we can see no login required. Great. Now we're going to do a get request on slash closed. Let's remove our credentials to see what happens. Okay, it redirects us to the login page. Great, let's go ahead instead, add our password to our basic auth. One, and it still redirected us to the login page. So what happened here? We gave correct credentials. So going back to our security filter chain, there's one more thing we need to define. So dot HTTP basic. This says, hey, use basic HTTP authorization. And then we're also going to define customizer dot with defaults, just like the form login we did above. So go ahead and rerun your project, and then we'll try again in Postman. Okay, so making our way back over to Postman, let's go ahead and remove our credentials to see what happens. This time when we click send, we get an error, 401 unauthorized, which is what we expect. Adding back in the password, and now we can see the resource. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Another baby step forward.